It is our lot to live among a people whose laws, traditions, and prejudices have been against us for centuries. And from these, they are not yet free. To assume that they are free from these evils simply because they have changed their laws is to assume what is utterly unreasonable and contrary to the facts. Large bodies move slowly. Individuals may be converted on the instant and change their whole course of life. Nations, never. Time and events are required for the conversion of nations. Not even the character of a great political organization can be changed by a new platform. It will be the same old snake, though in a new skin. Though we have war, reconstruction and abolition as a nation, we still linger in the shadow and blight of an extinct institution. Though the colored man is no longer subject to be bought and sold, he is still surrounded by an adverse sentiment which fetters all his movements. In his downward course, he meets with no resistance, but his course upward is resented and resisted at every step of his progress. If he comes in ignorance, rags and wretchedness, he conforms to the popular belief of his character and in that character, he is welcome. But if he shall come as a gentleman, a scholar and a statesman, he is hailed as a contradiction to the national faith concerning his race, and his coming is resented as impudence. In the one case, he may provoke contempt and derision, but in the other, he is an affront to pride and provokes malice. Let him do what he will. There is at present, therefore, no escape for him. The color line meets him everywhere and in a measure shuts him out from all respectable and profitable trades and callings. In spite of all your religion and laws, he is a rejected man. This is Keith David. I'm inviting you to join us on February 8th at 6 p.m. Eastern on a Zoom for a reading of Frederick Douglass's powerful and prophetic speech first delivered at the National Convention of Colored Men in Louisville, Kentucky on September 24th, 1883. It will be followed by a guided audience discussion. I want you to participate and I hope to see you then.